that's how I judge on what else needs to be done to make my face pure perfection. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Caricia and today I'm going to be showing you how I got this Kylie Jenner inspired fall makeup look. This is literally my everyday makeup look. I literally saw this picture of her and was like, this chick stole my everyday makeup look. No, I'm just kidding. Obviously not. But today I'm going to be showing you how I get this look and I'm going to be just telling you tips and tricks that I use on my everyday makeup. So yeah, if you want to see how I get this super cute makeup and some of my techniques for my everyday makeup look be sure to give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified for future videos of mine watch this video all the way till the end and for this video tell me what you're looking forward to most in the fall season or what's your favorite part of fall so yeah let's do something more exciting and get into this video so the first thing I like to do when I do my everyday face routine is moisturize and I always use this Olay complete moisturizer I talk about it in literally every single one of my videos but it's a favorite i'm gonna take just a small amount and rub it all over next i like to prime my second everyday go-to primer for like longer wear makeup is this nyx pore filler primer and i get this one because i feel like i have a lot of problems with my pores so i like to double up on the coverage for them this is almost done i'm like struggling and I only use a little bit and I like to start here where I get the most pores and on my nose and then I spread it out to everywhere else next for longer days I like to fill in my pores some more with this professional primer by benefit this is really good if you have really large pores and I just put that in here you can also use this as a primer all over your face but obviously it does cost more so I just like try to use less of it on a daily but if i'm going somewhere that i know i'm gonna like sweat or if it's gonna be a long day then i'll put it all over today i'm gonna use my born this way foundation from oh today i'm gonna use my born this way foundation from too faced i'm just gonna use this one because i haven't used it in a little bit so that's what i'm gonna use i really like using this foundation in the summertime because it was just really dewy and made my skin look like it belonged in the temperature of summertime does that make sense and i like to use this morphe m444 brush just to blend in my liquid foundations i put it on my ears and down my neck make sure you're pushing your skin up and not down Now I like to use a damp blending sponge. This is the Real Techniques sponge. And I just like to pat in the foundation some more. And also the dampness also helps like melt the foundation into your skin. So you just look a lot smoother and skin-like and even. And causes less creasing because you have less buildup of product in certain areas that would fold. Like around here and under here. Next is time to conceal. I like to use this LA Girl Pro Concealer. I always use the color Toffee because I feel like it's just about the right amount of shades up from my shade. It's maybe one or two shades higher than what I think my skin tone is. Good enough for not like looking super crazy but still looking snatched and highlighted. I feel like this color has like less yellow undertones and I kind of try to like cancel out the yellow undertones in my skin because I don't really like them. Next, I like to use my Ben Nye Luxury Powder to set my face. And this is just to keep my makeup on all day, keep it from creasing, and stop the oils from coming through. That'll make my makeup rub off or like smudge or just look crazy. And then I'm gonna dip it in there and I'm gonna put it on all the areas where I get oily and also just to prime my eyelids for when I put my eyeshadow. I've been getting really oily on my forehead lately, so I try to put more powder up there than I used to. Like, usually I used to put it just, like, in this part. So now I go in and I contour, and I'm going to use my Kiss Professionals eyeshadow in the color Bow Rubin. Now I'm going to speed through my eyebrows using my Anastasia Dip Brow.
I'm going to use this soft focus powder to dust that off. And after all that, you have to make your skin go back to looking like skin. Instead of a powdered donut, I'm going to use my all-nighter setting spray from Urban Decay, which is the best setting spray that I know of. So yeah, you should all go ahead and get one. If you can. Since I sprayed my eyelids, the powder did set on them, so I'm just going to use my beauty blender with the powder already on it and tap it a little bit more just to give it a good powder base for the eyeshadows to blend onto easily and better. So here is the part that we're all waiting for. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Master Mario palette. This is basically the routine that I do every day when I'm feeling lazy and I don't want to do anything special with my makeup. I'm going to start out with my brow bone. I'm going to use this color right here which is called Hollywood. It's kind of like a satiny goldish color. Next, I'm going to go in with the color Voiletta. As you can see, it's really empty because I use it so much. One of my favorite browns to use before I discovered the browns in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, which are also really good for all the dark skin girls out there if you're looking for a really good brown eyeshadow. Just saying. My nose is running, guys. I think I'm going to say, but we're not going to see that. I'm just going to hope that I'm not. Um, and then I'm going to blend this brown into the crease, and I'm also going to take it up right underneath where we just applied that brow bone color. So I'm applying it really heavy in the crease. And now I'm not going to take any more product up on my brush. I'm just going to blend out the edges going upwards till I hit that brow bone color. And I'm also going to bring it down kind of to the sides of my nose. I always do that with brown shades mostly. Or I guess maybe any shades. But um, makes your eyelid look bigger and makes your nose look slimmer. And I blend it to where, out to where my brow stops. So if you see the end of my brow, it's also where I'll end my eyeshadow. You just keep doing that until you build up to the color that you want and shape. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Next, I'll use the other side of this brush, which is just an eyeshadow shading brush. By the way, this brush actually came with this Master Mario palette. That's what I was using to blend in my crease. And now I'm going to use the other end to apply my lid color. And I'm going to use the color Lula, which is like a beige color. And I'm going to take that to about three quarters of my lid. Now I'm going to go back in with Violetta and I'm going to blend out my crease and my outer V a little bit more. So I'm just going to take a little bit on the brush and start from the outer corner, blending it into that lighter beige. And then I'm going to go into the crease and blend it out. So I'll only blend about up to here in the crease and then I'll just leave the rest. That's really not the hardest eye makeup in the world and that's like majority of it. So yeah, let's just do eyeliner now. First, I'm going to use this bold NK lip liner on my upper waterline. They do have an eyeliner if like you care about whether it's this lip liner or eyeliner it's really the same it literally looks exactly the same honestly if i find the lip liner or the eyeliner i pick up either one because it's literally the same thing and i will add my reward line this just makes the cat eye look a lot more seamless and makes your eyes look whiter naturally and i like to drag it out at the end right here just drag it naturally just flick it out then it just naturally goes into the shape of your eye and then you could also use it as a, like a marker for when you draw your cat eye. 
It's a really good tip. You should try it. Now I'm going to create that wing liner similar to what she has with this Tarte eyeliner. And I'm going to start with that flick that we use with the marker and I'm literally going to drag that flick up. Going in the same shape as our eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to go from the tip of where I drew that and drag it in. This one's a little bit thick right here, so I'm going to like try to swoop it upwards a little bit with some concealer. And I'll use my pinky finger to gently blend it downwards instead of upwards, because obviously if you blended it upwards, it would just ruin the line. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips now because I really feel like that's how I judge on what else needs to be done to make my face pure perfection. I'm just going to line my lip with my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner. And obviously I'm overlining my lip because first off, overlining your lip is life. And because obviously that's what she does in the picture. I like to like basically just color my entire lip with this. And then I'll apply some chapstick. And then I'll get a piece of paper and I'll go like that. Perfect. But now we're going to go back to eyes since we have a sense of what we're going to be looking like afterwards. So I'm going to go back to eyes. Now I'm going to move into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I'm first going to use this smaller blending brush from Kala. And I'm going to pick up this color right here. And I'm going to blend that onto my bottom lash line. She kind of has like a peachy color on her bottom lash line anyway. But obviously we're doing like a more fall version of this. So I made it a little bit more orangey. And this is what I usually use on my lower lash line anyway. And this color is called Roxanne. I'm now going to pick up this like orangey color mixed with this goldish color right next to it. This is the color Queen and Fireworks and I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct. I'm just going to apply a little bit of my powder just for any fallout since these are like really shimmery shades. Be here to catch any fallout. I'm going to spray this brush with my setting spray just to make the color more pigmented. And I'm going to drag it on my lower lash line. I'm going to put it really far up in the crease like I usually do. So I'm going to put it up that way too. I'm just going to apply some powder underneath my contour. Make it look a little bit more chiseled. Okay, now we're going to apply the blush, which is really a statement in this look and my favorite part. Add all that color back like a rainbow, like a, like a flower. So I'm going to use this color for my BH Cosmetics palette, one that I always use in every single video. It's just my favorite one. So she has a lot on her cheeks. I feel her. I feel the need to have a lot on the cheeks. Now I'm just going to stipple it in and blend it up. Add a little extra on there. You can never have well, I mean, you can have too much blush, but I can never have too much blush. You just gotta, like, determine how much is enough for you. But in this particular look, Kylie Jenner even, she has on a lot of blush. So if you want this look, you need to venture out on your blush 
ways, you know. I'm gonna dust that powder away so I can stop looking crazy. Lastly, for the lip color, this is my favorite lip color at the moment, and it's very similar to the one she uses in this look. As you can see, how she copied me. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the center of my lips. I think that's really good so how do you guys like the look i'm not gonna apply lashes because honestly and lastly i'm gonna apply some highlighter she doesn't seem like she has any highlighter in the picture but i usually wear highlighters so i'm gonna apply my highlighter i'm not gonna go in with a lot obviously because like i said it doesn't look like she's wearing any but i'm gonna use this color pop palette and i'm gonna use the color bigger than better which is what I usually use. It's like a goldy color. I wish I could show you, but one of the other shades are falling out the palette. More than already has fallen out the palette. I really, really, I need to talk to ColourPop because why is my eyeshadow palette falling on my palette, you know? I mean, why is my eyeshadow, I mean, like, why is my highlighter falling out of my palette, you know? No bueno. It's not good. No, it's good. I expected more from you, ColourPop. Just saying. Okay, so that is it for this Kylie Jenner inspired fall makeup tutorial guys if you enjoyed this video or if you learned anything new or if you plan on wearing this look be sure to give me a thumbs up below hit the subscribe button and the bell button to be notified for future videos of mine leave me a comment telling me what you thought of this video hit the i button to see what to watch next and i'll see you in my next video guys thank you so much for watching and bye